Hello everyone and welcome back once again to the amazing Sandy Bay map. So we've got plenty to be getting on with. If you watched the other episodes which I've done before this, uh, you'll have seen that we've been doing a lot of work with the bales and we're really at that stage now where we need to buy some livestock. We've just got the usual problem which is our money. We, we never really have much money but at least on this map we have plenty of things to sell. For example these silage bales. We don't need as many as we've done, so we're going to sell some of these, as we've been doing on the other maps as well, court farms, and replace them with some cows and also some sheep. I'm also looking to do the pig and the beef mod as well. Really want to do a lot of livestock on this map. Now you will have seen there that we've got over £6,000 for the sandwich bears each. So we're now on £33,000. We need, I think it's thirty. Six, maybe 39,000 for the feed mixer that is the trailed one so we'll, we'll sell two more but obviously we're going to have to sell a lot more to be able to afford a decent amount of animals now the sheep are 300 pounds each the chickens are 70 I think and the cows are two and a half thousand each so we do need to have a fair amount of money now, how many do we have? three, six, nine, eleven I think I think we've got 11. So if we sell two more, we obviously need to have enough for mixed ration. But the sheep will actually have grass anyway, so they don't even need these silage bales. A lot of people very helpfully said last time why I couldn't pick these bales up, and the reason is because I made them too big. I didn't realise it would make such a difference, but it does. You have to have, I think, 1.3, and I had it on 1.5 or 6, I think, um, which is obviously too big for the auto stacker to pick them up. So that is the reason why I couldn't do that. So it's not really a problem because we're so close to the yard anyway, but if we were a long way away, like the other side of the map, this would probably be quite an issue because we'd have to transport them all on a trailer, and my, my stacking skills aren't amazing. I know that a lot of you have actually been really kind about my stacking skills and said they weren't that bad. But yeah, I've seen better, so they're not amazing, but I guess they are okay. Um, but yes, these two will be the last two we sell for now. We'll probably sell some more later. Once we've sold these two, we'll get the mixed ration mixer, and we will put two bales in, maybe one bale. And apparently you don't need straw necessarily, but it is sometimes good to have some in there, so we'll have a think about that, because the straw is actually over at the other farm. There we go, so 46,000, pretty good. Now all we have to do is buy our mixer. 39,000 it is. 116 for the self propel one. It would be nice to have it, but obviously we're nowhere near that yet. So we're left with 7,000 pounds. We probably will need to sell some more. But we have tractors here, so if we need to sell some we can use them. For now we will head down to the shop and we'll go and fetch the mixer. I'll probably try and take a shortcut back actually because I always go this long way and I think there is another shortcut. Lovely British weather. But I have to say I have had it quite good in the past. I mean nearly all of my episodes have been in the sun. So it's actually nice for a change to have some rain. get this hitched onto the back. I've just been looking at the minimap just to see if there are any other ways. There are definitely two ways. I'm quite interested in trying out... Why is it indicating? That's weird. Yeah. Well, yes, I'm definitely interested in going left out of here because I think if you go left, you can actually go along the seafront and then go over the top. I think there's a bridge which you can go over.
Feels weird driving along the seafront with a Merlot and a feed mixer. Here's a bridge on the right. I think you can go across here. And that should come up the back way to Sandy Bay Farm. Over the river and over the railway line. Just trying different things. I think this is a shortcut anyway, so although you are going away to come back on yourself, we should find that we actually end up pretty much at the field with the silage bells in. I just need to remember which turning it is. Uh, next one should do. Yes, here we are. This is the field there. So that is actually a much quicker way to go. So here we are at the farm. We will put, I think we'll try one bale for a start because we need to put hay bales in there. Luckily the hay bales are in the same yard. We probably should have put the straw bales in this yard. It was just, it was a long way to take them. But thinking about it now, it would have been easier. So, We'll take it off there, hopefully it doesn't roll away. There's one. It might be easier with a tractor attached because then we can check and see what percentage is each. I think it'll be 33. 33%. No, it's actually 22%, which means it's, there must be different size bales to normal. Um, the straw is what we use the least of, I think. So if we just go with two silage and then to hay, it will leave a very small percentage for straw. That is possibly the best thing to do, although I can't say for sure. We will try and grab some of these out the hedgerow. Again, very pleased that the hedgerow is there to actually stop these from rolling away. Right, now for the hay. This should be slightly easier because now we're actually not on a slope. We'll be able to put it on a, a flat piece of the yard. We should probably move that trailer as well. Right, that should be okay just there. I would say, let's see if we can pick two up in, in the same go, but with this stacking, that is not very likely. Although I could move this one out of the way first. That will probably make things harder. Hmm. 
Not too bad. Right, well we've got our two hay bales in there as well. We're on 88%, that's 16,000 litres. Which leaves 12% for a straw bale. Now these straw bales are, as you'll know from the previous episode, right over at Willow Farm. So whether or not we should go and get them, I don't know. But it seems a bit excessive for the, the cows because they're only here. You would have thought they would be okay with this, but next time I think we'll bring the straw bales here so we can actually do a full mix. So the next job is to sell some silage bales, again, <laughs> because we need to just buy some cows. Uh, we can buy a few, so we will start off, but obviously we won't be able to get that many. In fact, we can only get two. So not amazing, but with these silage bales being over £6,000 each, we'll be able to get a lot more in a minute or two. So if I just whiz down here, pick up two more and sell them, we should have a lot more money. Um, we will be doing more silage bales very soon, so I'm not really too bothered if we sell them all actually. We could really do with the money. Someone also said that if you take these silage bales to the BGA and you put them in the anaerobic digester, you get even more money than selling them as bales. So if that is true, we could do that, but how far away is it? Biotech is the other side of the map to the west. Probably not worth it, but if it's true, yeah, that's a good idea. Such a beautiful view. Love playing on this map. Right, we're now on fifteen thousand one hundred and forty five pounds. That should buy us a few more. I usually start off with, as you'll know from Court Farms, I usually start off with five cows. It's a good starting point, because then we can buy some sheep as well. And also we've got these two animals as well, the, uh, the fattening cows and also the pigs. The pigs are actually really cheap, so we probably should look into them very soon. Um, the sheep, of course, they all need some grass, so we better not do them just yet. The chickens, yeah, we can buy loads of them. There, 50 chickens. Uh, there's no fattening chickens on this map. So we don't have to worry about those. But now we can give them some feed at least. We can actually feed them straight away. Something I very rarely do, poor things. I always have to leave them while I go and gather in some grass and mix some silage. So yes, they should have a good kick start here. We've also got the straw bales. In fact, oh, if I'm going to go and get the straw bales for the, the shredder, why don't I just go and get the straw bales for this? I might as well. That just doesn't seem logical. Um, so yes, <laughs> I'm changing my mind as I go along, but I'm sure it'll be alright in the end. So what we will do is we'll take this trailer over to Willow Farm, and we will put probably six or so bales on there. We don't really need to fill it, but we'll see. And then we can put one in the mixer, and we can put probably three in a bale shredder. Again, the bale shredder does bring some issues, money-wise, because we don't have one. But I'm sure we'll be able to afford one very soon.
Right, so here we are. Unfortunately, I stacked it with the auto stack, so all the bales are facing in the opposite direction. So that might make it a little bit trickier. It's also possible that I might knock one of the stacks over, and in a way that probably isn't a bad thing, because I find it makes it easier to pick them up again when they're lying the right way. So I'm even half tempted to pull them over, but I'm not going to, because I know that in real life that would likely burst the bales and they'd split everywhere. So yeah, I won't do that, but it might happen accidentally. So we'll go one step at a time, I think. Try not to knock them over, but these things do happen. Oh, there they go. Come on. Yeah. It's not easy when they're at that angle. Um, yeah, the, the easiest thing it would be to knock them over, but I know it just doesn't look very good. So, we'll see. I think it helps having the trailer over here, though, because there's more space to turn around instead of having it right in the uh, gateway there. I'm going to lay it down just to make it easy but I'll try not to knock the stack behind it down as well because that wouldn't look very good I think just one stack will be enough. We don't need that many up there in one go. Thinking about it as well, an easy but kind of cheating solution to all of this would be just to ram the auto stacker back into that pile and restack them. But I just don't like the idea of that. I think I'd only do that if I knocked them all over by accident and didn't want them to be all over the place. So, yes, it does work because I've done it before, but. I don't know, it's just not the best idea, I don't think. Now this should be easier because these four, except for those two which I knocked, are facing the correct way and are also together. So it should just be put a spike through both of them, pick them both up. Obviously these two are a fair distance apart, which is going to make it more difficult. Ah, oh, now, because we've only got this many on here these are going to roll around so I might actually have to fill the lower level If they could roll together, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if, it, if I attach the trailer and then slam the brakes on, I wonder if they'll all roll to the front and then give us more space at the back. I wonder if the physics would work like that. That would be interesting to see, I might have to do it. Because I think there is space for two more bales there, at least. Yeah, let's give it a go. As long as they don't all roll off the side, I just want them to all roll forwards and close the gap. Nope, they seem to be locked into place. I don't think they're going anywhere. So maybe in that case, then we'll be okay. I'll just squeeze two more on the back.
There we go. Brilliant. So that is the whole of the lower level filled. More than we need, but we'll just put them undercover with them still on the trailer, I think, just to make things easier. We'll take off what we need. Now all they have to do is drive back safely without letting them all fall off. Uh, which I think will be quite easy, so got to take it steady. I think 15 miles per hour is probably the fastest one to go because I just looked at them and they are shifting. They are definitely shifting. Got a bit of overhang here. But if I keep going at this pace and then slowing down for corners, I think we'll get there okay. I'll have to get Bullet Bill's modified trailer because that is fantastic. It really is. It straps them all on and they can't fall off. It's something I'm going to have to get. I've already had it once before in Iron Horse, but I haven't had it since, so I need to download it again. This is actually flat out. This is as fast as we can go. Oh, look at that. The lights have actually changed in our favour. with a bit of lag too. I think we've made it round. And I think actually they're also levelling off a bit as well. So things are going well. Just got to get to the farm over there. Right, the final leg. This is the gateway. We will take them to the cows area which is on the right hand side and then obviously we'll take off what we need and put the rest in a shed hmm are we missing one? or have they just shifted together? I'm sure we've lost a bale didn't see it go though oh you know what actually I think I might leave this trailer up here because if I go down there, they might all roll off. In fact, they might all roll off here too. That is not good. Um, I will just park it here for now. Yes, we've definitely lost a few. I think we've lost one. And then obviously another one fell off then. So we'll have to go for a hunt later. But for now, let's just grab two. Or one actually. Oh, just grab one. We only need one. And we'll go and get our mixer. The cow should be in there somewhere. Yeah, there they are. Happy cows. Oh, there's the plough as well. I need to use that plough. I will be using it probably in two episodes time. Highly likely. Um, but yes, this episode and tomorrow's episode we will be doing livestock. In fact, tomorrow what I might do is use the Chrome Big M again. Loved using that. Might as well drop this straight in as well. It's only 12% uh, anyway, so... No point carrying it about. Hitch onto the back. And let's finally, after all this time, go and feed them. It's taken a while. Ah, so it has actually changed the status or the, the type, the, the fruit type, of what is in the mixer now. So it looks like in Farming Simulator you do actually have to put straw in. Uh, which I don't think you do in real life, but I'm no expert, it's just what I've been told by someone in the comments. Right, so I've driven through, spun round, and I think this is their trough because it, it's on this side in Chellington, so... Yep. Yeah. 
Vaz should fill it. That'll be plenty for them. So the productivity should now raise. It should go up over time. Um, next time, we will hope to get the barrel shredder. Although you can just pick up straw from the field with the forage wagon uh, and do it that way. Um, but yes, I think really tomorrow mainly will be mowing grass for the sheep because I'd like to buy some sheep tomorrow. But yes, if we can afford it, we will buy the bell shredder and give them some bedding as well. But that is all to come tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode despite a few hiccups. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.